Hey Reef DVMs, coming at you with a fun winter project. So it's Christmas time on the farm, everybody's got their new gifts, and it's snowing and blowing. Um, what more can I say? You know, at this time of year, it's not real fun to be outside other than dealing with the animals. So inside we go. I got this new uh, target block for crossbows in our tree, and I've got a whole bunch of these rubber blocks left from when we built the barns. But the material comes on the steel. And uh, I didn't really want to waste it, so I held on to it, thinking that I might be able to turn these into something like this. So my daughter Tabitha and I are kind of making a test run. We grabbed a couple of ratchet straps and strapped them together, and it worked. So we built a bunch of these um, just to kind of test them out. And then we went to the corner of the barn um, and put up some plywood. Now, we already had a rail for riding, so it wasn't too tough to add an extension on the top of plywood. Grabbed a couple of these uh, stall mats. You can get these at Tractor Supply or Fleet Farm, wherever you want to get them from. You know, they work pretty good. I'd say they're about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch thick, and they probably weigh like, you know, 75 pounds. They're heavy devils. I got some screws with some, like, uh, really wide plastic heads on them, and I screwed them up to the plywood. Now, this is just, you know, kind of the safety factor. Um, two of these big mats put together... Um, equals an area of six feet wide and eight feet tall and three quarters of an inch, you know, with uh, plywood backing. You know, hopefully this is just kind of our old crap. It'll stop it kind of thing. Um, it's not the main way we want to stop. So then what we basically did is we stuck a piece of plywood in front of these rubber mats. And then we made um, about six foot tall, uh, 40 inch wide you know, stacks of these great big um, kind of foam, uh, basically pallet runners that we had from when we built the barns. And then we strapped them together with two great big straps on each end. And we created 80 inch wide, six foot tall, basically barrier to hopefully stop the arrows. Um, you know, there's a seam down the middle here. So we're going to put a few of them right in the middle, right behind the target. And then, like I said, behind that, we've got the rubber mats and the plywood. So basically, we've got plywood, a little bit of rubber, plywood, four-inch thick rubber, and then a little bit more rubber and our targets in the front. Hopefully, this will be able to stop our strongest of bows and crossbows on the farm. And during the winter months, you know, we can go out and enjoy target shooting. Um, the farm has a nice gun range, but it's not the most enjoyable to use during the winter months, so... This gives us an activity with the kids in the in the winter months, which we like. So I got this beast built. It's pretty strong. It's really hefty. I'm just kind of, you know, rocking and rolling on it here to see if it'll stay up against the wall. Sure seems to be. Seems to be holding in really good. So the next step at this point was kind of put the targets in the front and put another short piece in the front just to cover the seam. And uh, put the hay back in place and uh, shoot at this thing and see how it holds up. There's a couple different types of bows we have on the farm. Um, got a couple about, you know, I would say Anna's bow is probably, probably maybe 200 feet per second. Um, I've got a 325 feet per second bow. Um, wife's got um, a nice um, crossbow here she can shoot. I've got a crossbow. I think the crossbows are running around 350 to four and a quarter. So we got plenty of uh, power. We went and took the posts. It, Turned out to be about every other post was about five yards, which worked out really good. And we were able to mark all the way back to 40 yards. That was kind of neat. I didn't know how much distance we'd have in the barn. But I figured any distance was better than none. So we marked it out in five um, yard increments all the way back to 40. And then, uh, you know, we set up. Uh, so here we are set up about uh, 20 yards. My wife pulled out her crossbow she took a nice whack at the target. And then uh, my daughter pulled out her diamond. Um, she's got a nice, you know, Bowtech diamond bow that she likes to shoot. And she started firing darn range at it. Um, seemed to be working great. Now, we hit the targets, you know, um, that we were aiming at. But I did take the uh, luxury of shooting the back wall just a little bit to see how it did. Um, even with the crossbow, held up great. Um, stopped everything. Never even got to the plywood which is just what we wanted. Here my daughter Tabitha is getting on her crossbow. Um, she likes this little, uh, what is this, uh, Barnet little crossbow. 
It's been a good little bow for her. Um, I'm not sure what the strength is, but I think it's somewhere around just shy of 300. But it, it, it flies an arrow pretty nice. And then, of course, my two littlest kids, they got to get in on the action, too. Welcome to the world of Nerf. So they're launching a few um, at it. Obviously, with the Nerf guns, it's a little easier if you get a little closer. So I appreciate you watching, folks. Thanks for watching and liking our videos. We need your support. Please subscribe to our channel and keep following our videos. I'd highly recommend, you know, putting in an indoor archery range. It's kind of fun.